Welcome back, comic book fans. It's Rusty again from Collector Auctions, and today I've got another special episode for you. It's another tutorial episode, but in this one, we're going to take a comic book and prep it to go to a comic book convention to add multiple comic book creators. But the thing today is I'm going to be creating windows on my bag and board so I can be very specific about where I want those signatures from the multiple creators. In this case, we're going to take this right here. It is Batman, Three Jokers, number one. And we're going to try to get, take this fan expo, and we want to get Jason Fabic and Brad Anderson to sign this. But I've already got Jeff Johns on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cre create multiple windows on this, I'm going to, in this case, there will be two windows where I want those autographs to go. And during the tutorial, I talk about the placement of those autographs. So what you're going to see is me prepping this for that and how I direct the artist to sign in a certain area. And I've already done the bag and board. So you can tell I've already done this already. I've, I've taken it back out of that particular bag and board, but I will present it at the end. You'll see the whole process as I lay it out. But this is going to be real fun. I want to take it to Fan Expo up in Philly, <clears throat> excuse me, and add those additional signatures. But the crux of today's video is how I create these multiple windows in this for a signature signing event, whether it's in person, like it will be for Fan Expo, or if you want to send this book to CGC. For if you had those two artists at CGC and you wanted them in a very specific place, this is exactly the way you would set that up. So sit back, enjoy the tutorial, and we'll come back and do a wrap up at the very end. All right, guys, this is how I prep a comic book for a comic convention or even to send in the CGC. Now, the book that we're using right here is Batman Three Jokers number one. I think this was cover A. And as you can see, I've already got it signed by Jeff Johns. And what we're going to do is we're going to prep this right here to go to Fan Expo. And I'm taking it up there to get Jason Fabic and Brad Anderson to sign that as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to use keep it in this Mylar right here. I'm actually going to take this out. It, I don't want to waste the Mylar, to be honest with you. And we're not getting this book CGC just because right now they're not authenticating the autographs quite yet. But I do want to maybe eventually get this CGC with the all three signatures once they start authenticating the autographs. So I've got the book right here. And I lay down a piece of parchment just so we can keep the area clean. And let me show you the things that I'm going to use with this. So as I said, I didn't want to waste the Mylar, but what I'm going to do is I've got a Silver Age, just a regular bag and board right here. And we're going to put the book in there. This is just a common Silver Age bag. I don't mind wasting, well, I shouldn't say waste, but using one of these because the book, this bag is going to get cut. We're going to put a the window in this bag right here, but we're going to do some prep work. And we're going to use painter's tape to do that. And then you also will have your X-Acto knife and your straight edge. And then the last thing you need is this right here. It is just a regular backing board. This is a scrap one. You can see the barcode. I think I got this off of one of those DC mystery packs that Walmart was having last year. And I kept these basically to use as scraps. So when I make the signature windows in the bag, I'll put this in and we'll cut through that. And you can see the all the indents, all the cuts I've put into this right here. So I've made many a bag. So I'm just going to put that to the side for the moment. First thing we're going to do, though, is we are going to tape this off. now. On this book right here, Jeff Johns has already signed it. He signed it right here. And sorry about the light. Let me see if I can adjust that just a little. So it's not right. 
I think I'm making it worse. Yeah, that was awful. Let's. Yeah, that was that was awful. I'm actually going to turn off. Let's see if I turn this one off. Now it's a little bit, little bit better. I've got some spotlights above that are causing some lights right there. But let's talk about where we're going to put the signature. So Jeff John signed it right here. He's the first one to sign this book. And examples that I looked up, a lot of them had. Jason Fabic signed right in this area, and Jeff Johns had signed right in here or maybe up here. But in this case, Jeff Johns has already signed here, and I don't want to squeeze in Jason Fabic's autograph right here. I think what I want to do is put a window up in this area right here so Jason Fabic can sign up here, and then I'm going to put another window down here so Brad Anderson can sign down there. Now, like I said, this is not going to go directly to CGC at any point at this point, this point right here. But if this was a book going into CGC for a signature signing event and it had no signatures on it, I would go through the same process. In this case, it's just not going to go to C CGC at this point, and it's already got a signature on there. So what I want to do is start taking some of my painter's tape right here. And I lied. I'm going to use a pair of scissors here as well. And the reason I've got the piece of parchment down right here is this cutting board is an old friend. I've had this since 1985. I've used this cutting board ever since I entered college as an art student. And what we're going to do now, what I do in these is a little bit of overkill, but I don't like taking chances when I send these books off. And even when you put them in these bags and boards, Things get dropped occasionally, and I like to reinforce the whole exterior of a comic. So let's start off by basically, this is how I do it now. You guys may do it differently. Probably save a lot of money on all the painter's tape that you don't have to buy. I tend to have to buy a lot because this is the way I do. This is the way I do it. And I do this basically to buffer anything hitting the comics. Now, this is a square bound, so I'm particularly worried that something will happen to one of the edges, especially the corners on these, these books. And we want to make sure that your flap is still up right there. And again, this is a bit of overkill, especially when I have a lot of books to do. And as I said, this is this is for the signing of the Ghost Machine Artist up at Philadelphia's Fan Expo. Jason Fabric's going to be there. Jeff Johns is going to be there, but I don't need to get in his line now. Brad Anderson's going to be there. Brian Hitch, Peter Tomasi. The one that's not going to be there that I originally thought was going to be there was Gary Frank. And I think he was on the list. I just don't, re I don't know what I was thinking, but hopefully down the road I can get Gary Frank as well because I definitely have some Geiger books that Jeff John signed for me at Third Eye Comics in Annapolis, Maryland. Okay, that's actually not very straight right there. Let's let go back and just fix that real quick. Oops, making a mess. Okay, so we've got this framed. And before we go on to cutting our windows or even placing where our windows are, one of the things I do like to do is, and I do this with every book I send to CGC, I make these bags and boards, these signature windows exactly the same way. Even when it's not a square bound, I go in there and I double tape these corners so it has a little bit more buffer so nothing happens to it. I should take stock at Scotch for all the painter's tape that I buy. 
and do a couple pieces and I'll do the top corners in a little bit as well. But these things can be handled really well when it's done. Okay, so the bottom's, bottom's done, it's secure. Let's go ahead and finish up the top real quick. And I am going to go ahead and just close the bag for the moment. Just put a piece of tape right there just to keep it closed. And if you guys are worried that I'm going to cut this window out with the comic in there, don't worry. We actually will take the comic out once we establish where we want the window, in this case, windows, to be. So we've got these right there. And one right there. And I think this is just being a little OCD with these kind of things. There's been some conventions when I went to that I didn't go through this trouble, but I'll tell you, I, I like doing this when I go to a convention because it's a lot easier to give the artist these like this than it is to sit there and literally pull every comic out of the bag, get it back from the artist, wait for it to dry, and then have to struggle to get everything back in the bags and boards. And it is it can be very awkward. And with this, you just have to wait until the or ink or the paint or whatever they use to sign with dries. But, okay. All right, that's a little crude, but done. Okay, so now we've got our book secured on the corners. We framed it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to establish where I want the signing window to be. Now, I've seen some pretty big signatures from examples on eBay from Jason Fabic, where he has a pretty big signature. So I'm going to give him a wide berth to sign. So I literally, I don't care where he signs, but I think I'm going to put it in this region up here. So I'm going to put a piece of tape right here. And... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. I don't want to cut the whole. I want to make it just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take another piece of tape. And I'm going to put it about right there. Eh, about right there. And now we've established the area where I would love to have a, a Jason Fabic autograph. And the other one now is Brad Anderson, the colorist. And... What I want to do with him, and I've seen him, he's got a very horizontal, thin, not very vertical type of signature. And it's going to, I think this would look really good right down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece of tape across down here. I'm going to come up just a little bit more. This is actually going to give that bottom areas, especially when you cut these out, these windows out, the structure of the stability of the bag and board, or the bags, uh, it's compromised, obviously. So, what we're going to do is, I'm making a mess, hang on, hang on, this is going all over the place, let's do it this way. So an extra piece of tape at the bottom won't hurt. But I am going to try to protect that Jeff Johns autograph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here. So when I cut this, he's got an area to sign in as well. And it won't be on top of the Jeff Johns autograph. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off this area too because... Okay, the, so now that we've... Establish the areas where we want the autographs, and I'm before I start cutting, uh, put some arrows in here.
And because I've got two artists on here, I'm going to put their names here so they know where to sign. I did this for Jim Steranko last year, and he had, what was funny was he was making most people take their comics out of their bag and boards because people were trying to squeeze him into a small space like this right here, and he didn't want anything to do with that. He was making people take them out, even though a lot of these books were going to go to CGC. He didn't care because he needed a signing area, a big signing area to work with. He didn't want to be cramped. and I had kind of learned that from a year prior. So when I made my bag and boards, I gave him a giant area to sign. And I, I was able to keep my comic in the bag and board because it really didn't interfere with anything he was going to sign. So let's put... Now, I would do the same thing when, if I was sending this book in to CGC for a signature signing event where the book was going to be out of my control, I would at 100 do exactly what I'm doing here. This works whether you're doing it for yourself or whether you're sending it for CGC. So now that we've got the windows established, what we're going to do is we're going to take the comic book and the board out of here and set it on the side. And we're going to come in with your cardboard, your backing board that has the cuts in it already. And we're going to take your straight edge. And what we're going to do is cut these windows out, basically just removing the plastic. Painter's tape's there to keep the bag having, the, lets the bag have some structure, plus it also allows. The, gives the artist the exact place where to sign. It, you didn't have the tape on here. They could sign right over it because they'd be pretty hard to see. Didn't quite, didn't quite cut all the way here. So let's just go back over it real quick. And you can see why you take the the comic out of here. You don't want to have a your cutting board, your knife anywhere near that. And that came out. So here you go. There's the piece of the window. We're taking that out. Now this is exposed. And now let's do the other one. Normally I wouldn't have such a small area for an artist, but as I said, I was watching, doing some research on this book to see where the artists were signing, and I could see what the Brad Anderson autograph looked like. So I don't have too much of a problem making this one just a little bit smaller. Okay, so now let's put our straight edge over here. We'll put our X-Acto right there, and we can take this out. Now, so we can, you can see we've got the windows right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the comic back in here. But first, we're going to put the board in. Make sure it's started. You don't want to, especially when you're sending it to the CGC. Now, like I said, these are not going to go to CGC necessarily. These are for the personal collection. So I'm Mostly, we're probably just going to keep them raw. But if you're getting ready for CGC, you do want to be careful when you put the book back in here. It could catch the edge here. This is a heavy cover stock here, so it probably wouldn't catch on the edge right there. It's like this edge right, right there, right? But a regular comic book can catch that real quick, and you could get a corner crease or a sort of like a thumb thumb crease or whatever. It could crease the book 
if it caught there too too much. So right now, this is it. Um, let's close it up. And as you can see, uh, you can see the shiny of the bag right here. And you can see the little bit dull area right here for the signing. And right there. So this comic is ready to go to Fan Expo to be signed by Jason Fabic and Brad Anderson. And as I said, the best part about this is when I go there now, I can literally just hand this to them. They can sign, sign, and move on. I don't have to sit there and waste everybody's time by having to take these comics out while I'm at the convention and worry about damaging the book, smearing the autograph. I mean, if you don't wet, let your autograph, the autograph dry and you put it back in your bag and board, you can risk serious damage of smearing the autograph. So this eliminates that greatly. So thank you guys for watching. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. I had fun shooting that. That was a learning experience. I had a new apparatus to put the camera and I thought that angle was really good. I may utilize that angle in the future, but I had a lot of fun doing that tutorial. But again, this video was about putting very specific spots for artists to sign. So let's show you the book. You saw it at the end of the tutorial part, but here it is all finished up, ready to go. Again, I am very OCD about this. And if, let me expand on why I literally put the painter's tape around the edges and then I reinforce the corners. It is just for security's sake. It is, especially when I send it to CGG, CGC, I do this intentionally because those books get manhandled. Mm, okay, may, I'm assuming that it could get manhandled. It's going to get handled by multiple people. It isn't just going to be taken out and graded. It's going to be taken out, given to an artist, taken back from the artist, eventually sent to a grader. So there's multiple hands. So I like to have these as secure as possible. And that's why I double my efforts when I bag and board these things. Again, we've got two windows. So we've got a window down here at the bottom. That's for Brad Anderson. And I got a big window up here at the top for Jason Fabic. And the reason I had to put Jason Fabic up here, although traditionally he signs right in this area, right there, Jeff Johns had already signed. And you can't see Jeff Johns' autograph now. I've got it kind of covered up. But I've got a big area up here for, for Jason Fabic. And because Brad Anderson, after doing some research, had, I realized he has a very horizontal thin but horizontal autograph. And I think this is going to be plenty of room for him to do his autograph right here. So now this book is ready for me to go to take up the Fan Expo. And what's great about this is you take the book and you hand it to the artist and they sign it and you take it back. There's no delay. The only delay you might have is if the paint, the ink is still wet, you don't, you can control the situation. You can take the book and have it right here off to the side and you can let it dry. If you had to take your books out of the bag and board, you'd have to do that right there before you get to the artist. You risk damaging your book because now it's unprotected. You give it to the artist. They can move it around. You can get color rub on the back. They could do something to the front. Who knows? And then they have to take the book back. And now you've got a book that's still exposed with wet paint, wet ink, metallic ink. I mean, they're going to be signing fast usually if you've got multiple things. And so you risk that danger of that thing. This is getting stacked up over to the side. And anyway, this really cuts down a lot of that risk. And you're able to do it without damaging your book. So that's the real thing about this today. Whenever I go to, I'd say 90% of the time when I go to a comic book con, I will get my books like this, depending on just how many things I want to get signed. For a fan expo, I don't have a great number of books to get signed, but I did this to just about every one of my books. And I was very specific on a lot of them where I wanted those autographs. Only on a few did I, do I have that I'm going to have for multiple. And well, in this case, I've got two autographs that I want to be very specific, but I will do another tutorial. It'll be very similar to this, where I'm going to show you how to prep the same kind of book. But in that case, it's going to be for a team of artists and there's going to be at least four, 
to six artists that I want to add on here. And that's a little bit different situation. It's going to be a very similar video, but it will be very a little bit different. And I'll show you those steps as well. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think of what I'm doing here. If you think this is too OCD for you, do you do things the same way? I don't know. I'd love to hear about your experiences. But if you like this kind of content, I will continue making these tutorial videos like this and put them out and include them with my regular content each and every week, Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. So definitely hit that like button and slap the subscribe. And if you click on that notification bell, it'll let you know when my episodes are about ready to appear. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you for the next episode. And just remember, every comic has a story.